happy Monday. I've recently been adding cinnamon to my coffee. I always add cinnamon at home to my coffee, so I don't know why I never thought about doing that at Starbucks, but anyway, I recently started adding cinnamon and it's just like such a game changer. So, hello, welcome back to my vlog. If you're new, my name is Danica. Um, I'm sitting in the Costco gas line, just waiting. I always used to joke that like I spent so much time in this Costco gas line because I drive a lot, but I haven't been driving as much lately, which is nice. And today is Martin Luther King Jr. Day, so it's a holiday. So that's nice. This morning I went to F45 and I did my 100th class, which was so cool. And it was even more special because my sister got to come with me. She's doing like a trial this week before she goes back to school. And it was really fun to have her. And then I think she's gonna come with me again tomorrow. And then I'm coaching on Wednesday night. And my sister's gonna come and she's trying to talk my mom into coming, so we'll see. But anyway, I wanted to vlog because I'm just so excited that I finally hit 100 classes at F45. Honestly, I thought I was going to be able to hit 100 before Christmas, but then if you have missed any of my videos or you're new, I was in the hospital, I had an infection, and I didn't work out for three weeks, and then obviously like I had slowed down a little bit as well. So I thought I was going to finish it before Christmas or at least before the end of the year, but it's okay. We finished it now. Today is January 15th and right. That's the day. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, I finally hit a hundred classes at F45. So I will be doing a video on like my thoughts, um, about F45 after 100 classes. I did do one after six months of Orange Theory. That was really fun. I'll link that in the cards and below if you haven't seen that and you want to check it out. I really like, I really like just fitness in general, obviously, and I really like trying fitness classes. And, um, but I love F45. I love F45 and CrossFit. I think those are my two favorites. So anyway, there's just like a bunch of weird reflections right now because the way the sun is shining in, but welcome back to my channel. We'll vlog the next couple days and it's yeah I, I I need to get into something else about like this new thing I've been trying this new routine but we'll get into it later I'm not gonna talk about it now but just a lot of good things happening we're, we're making some changes in 2024 Josh's truck I forgot he has this really great like ledge it's so funny because you don't notice these things until you're vlogging and you want to put your camera on something and when gosh when was it last April we went to San Diego and I did my Sephora haul and I had his um car hold on he's calling me hey everything okay okay I had to go take the insurance card into Josh, so it's a good thing I'm here. Um, James is getting blood work done today for school. So, I hate stuff like this. Obviously, like, if I have to do it, I'll do it, but I hate it. And I took James in to get blood work done once before when he was doing his allergy testing, and it was honestly very traumatic for me and him. So I told Josh, if he ever needs blood work again, you're up. You're up, buddy, because I do a lot of the like doctors and all that kind of stuff. So I was like, you get to do this one. So I'm going to sit here. They actually just called him back. So it's probably going to be super quick, which is nice because sometimes these things take forever. I brought my computer so that I could work a little bit because I need to distract myself because this like stresses me out. Whenever your child is in pain or your child is anxious, I feel like as a parent, it just makes you feel those emotions as well. So I'm trying to keep myself busy for a few minutes and then we're gonna go to Target and he's gonna get a toy because that's just 
what we do. We let him get a toy after the doctors or something like this. So he's excited for that. Thank you, lovey. Show me, let me see. Which one did you pick? What'd you get? Where's your gift card? Okay, so it's a few hours later. We're back home and after we last talked, um, we were at Target. We went to my parents' house because my grandma's funeral was last weekend and we just didn't get a chance to really visit with my mom so we went back, visited with her and then they also had a ton of food left over so they wanted to like share it and just have us stop by. So we were there for a few hours and we got home and we've all just showered and we're kind of just getting ready for the week. So we finished the crock pot and let me show you the crock pot meal. Um, it's like a chili verde chicken. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. And we wanted to do this this time because we wanted to be able to, like tonight we're having it with rice and beans, right? Or are we? Rice. rice and beans tonight and then we wanted to be able to do like burritos tomorrow because sometimes when we do a crock pot meal, if it's just like the same thing for two or three days, we get kind of tired of it. So we wanted to have just like some meat to be able to mix it up. So Josh made rice and beans for today. Also, we didn't follow a specific, um, is this hot on top? We didn't follow a specific recipe. Wow, that's a lot of rice. And then, oh, you didn't do beans. You just, oh, you did, okay. Um, we didn't follow a specific recipe for this one. We got some inspiration from TikTok and then Josh kind of like made it his own. So, we're gonna eat that and then we, we, well, we watch like a lot of different shows, but some of the shows that we watch are not good to watch when you're eating. You know, they're like gory or you just like don't want to be eating. So, um, we watched the second season of Bridgerton, which was really cute. I liked that. And then we now started watching, is it Queen Charlotte? Is that what it's called? I don't know. Whatever it is, the spinoff. Um, just because it's like something we can watch while we're eating, you know? We really like Outlander, but that's like pretty gory. And like, anyway, there's just a lot of shows that we like, but sometimes we just don't wanna watch them while we're eating. So we're probably gonna eat this and watch that and then get to bed. Cause again, I know I said I'll talk about this more, but basically we've been getting up early every day. So we've been trying to get to bed early. So we're probably gonna get to bed and then I'll see you in the morning. I know how old I am. You skipped 30, 31, and then 32, baby. 30, 31, 32? I mean 30. Yeah. Mommy's 32. Mommy is 32. <laughs> Start singing, baby. Happy birthday to you. happy Tuesday it's so confusing when we have these holiday weeks I'm like what day of the week is it um, I just finished at 45 and I'm actually in Josh's truck again which I really love like that I can set my camera up there it's so nice and convenient but um, I just worked out with my sister she's doing a trial this week I forgot if I mentioned that she's doing a trial at 45 before she goes back to school so that was fun and um, now I'm gonna go run a couple of errands before I start work. I have to return something to Lululemon and then return something to Anthropology. So I'm gonna go do that and then go home and get some work done. But it's been a great morning. It's been a busy morning. And like I mentioned before, we've been getting up at 5 a.m. I read the 5 a.m. club. Well, actually, I didn't read it. I listened to it on audio on Audible as an audiobook, it was long. Um, and it was a really good message. I feel like it was a little, like it dragged on a little bit at some points. I was trying to look up and see how long it was, but I it, it took me a while to get through. Um, let's see, how do I 
see the length. Oh, now it's trying to play it. The epilogue. Okay, so it was 11 hours and four minutes. So it was a long book. I actually just today started Atomic Habits and that one's like five hours. So that's gonna be like much faster to get through. But um, anyway, I really liked the 5 a.m. club. I liked the message. Like I said, I think it was a little... I don't know that I could have read it. I think it was good listening to an audiobook because it was like easy to get through when I was doing laundry or driving or whatever. Um, but it had a really good message and I really like the idea of getting up at 5 a.m. So Josh and I have actually been doing that for today's day six. And in the book, they tell you to do it for 66 days to create a habit. So we're on day six, so only 60 days to go. But anyway, um, that's kind of what I was like, mentioning earlier um about like our schedule and stuff like that so anyway let's go run these errands i don't mean to talk your ear off but i did just want to explain like we are trying and i'm actually going to document it all on tiktok so make sure you're following me on tiktok if you're not already because i'm just doing like a mini vlog every day of what i do from like 5 a.m to like 7 ish 8 ish depending on the day but just kind of showing like how i'm using that extra time each morning and what i'm getting done few hours later I am actually about to take my lunch break if you saw earlier I grabbed sweet green so I'm gonna have my salad and I'm really excited I I don't know why but when I'm home let me know if you like get this but when I work from home I like don't eat as much like I don't snack whereas when I'm in the office I feel like when I get up to go to the bathroom or whatever I stop by the kitchen at work like I grab a snack I'm always snacking at work but when I'm at home I'm not eating and then I'm like oh my gosh I'm starving <laughs> so anyway I am so excited to eat I'm gonna go have my salad and maybe a poppy and I think I'm gonna watch something for like 20 minutes I just need to like you know when you just need to like turn off your brain I just need a break um so I'm gonna do that quick and I actually once I got home I showered and I did put on a little bit of makeup um, and I just filmed a try on I have I just have a couple things um, that's going in my next Lululemon vlog or haul not vlog I think it'll be up before this vlog so if it is I'll link it in the cards and below so you can check it out but anyway I just did the try on like I said it took me like 10-15 minutes so there's only a couple things for this haul I'm still getting my boxing day stuff in and it's coming in kind of slowly so unfortunately like I had a couple things in my last Lululemon haul I'm gonna have a couple things in this haul and then I'll have a couple things in the next haul but whatever it's fine um so I'm gonna go eat and then get back to work and then after work I'm gonna film the sit down portion um, and I'm hoping that my parents, I'm, I'm feeling pretty sore um, I have gotten like back into working out after taking three weeks off I've, I'm kind of like back into it now it's been my first it's been like a week anyway I am getting very sore like I can't even hold the camera right now I'm getting so sore um with my workouts the last few days so I'm hoping to take an Epsom salt bath but that will kind of be dependent on if my parents bring James home or not like if I have to go get him it'll get late you know so anyway we'll see but I'd love to just like relax and take a bath tonight so oh I hope but I'm gonna go enjoy my salad because I'm looking forward to that as well it's the little things in life you know all right it is after work the Sun has pretty much set it's really dark in my filming room I just finished filming my Lululemon haul again I think that's already up when you're watching this so now I have to put everything away it's always like a big mess to clean up after I'm done filming so I got to put all this away and the boys should be home soon. I hope my parents are bringing James. I don't know yet, but certainly Josh will be home soon. So I got to get all, all of this cleaned up and start getting things together for tonight. morning happy Wednesday I just dropped James off at school I love this summer Fridays stuff I just have to say 
I love the Laneige. I love the road stuff. I love Fenty gloss. I, I'm a gloss girl. And lately I like gloss with lip liner. But this one I think, honestly, I use the Rode one at night or the Laneige at night. I also use the Rode, I don't know. I'm a gloss girl, let's put it at that. But I really love this one and this one's running out. I gave a couple of these away for Christmas this year too. And I just, I really love these. Um, anyway, I just had to say that because I put it on so much. Oh, I also love the Dior. I would say those are probably my top, what, five? Summer Fridays, Road, Dior, Laneige. I'm missing one. What was, oh, Fenty. Those are probably my top five glosses that I have in rotation, if you were wondering which you probably weren't. Anyway, just dropped off James at school. I'm on my way to CrossFit, which I haven't gone to CrossFit since last Wednesday. Um, because I'm coaching at F45 now, I, one, just like to go more to meet more people and like get to know them and also obviously just get to know more of the workouts and I learn by doing, so it's helpful for me to do the workouts because then, I don't know, just, it just is good. But I really love CrossFit and it's just so funny because I was just talking to Josh about this and how I really enjoy F45, but I don't just want to do F45. I love the things that I've learned in CrossFit and I feel like a lot of what I've learned in CrossFit has helped me be more successful at F45 because we learn the proper techniques and it just... Not that you don't learn that at F45, but I just feel like it's such a good supplement, you know? And also we're able to lift heavier at CrossFit than we are at F45 because they only have so many weights, you know? Um, whereas at CrossFit you've got the barbell and you can like add a bunch of plates. So all that being said, I, I don't plan on stopping either. I really love them both and I think they complement each other really well. So. I'm going to CrossFit and I think, gosh, my camera just does not want to stay today. I think that I would really like to continue doing CrossFit at least two days a week. I've talked about this before, but we're planning to move in the spring, probably like April or so. Um, and we'll live closer to these CrossFit gyms that I go to. So it'll be a little bit easier to make my way over there um, more often. So. I think probably once we move, we're just gonna be closer to gyms and closer to everything, which is gonna be so nice that I think it will be more realistic for me to be able to work out, honestly, more like five to six days a week if I choose. Obviously, I might not wanna do that all the time, but right now, I really do more like three to five days a week um, going to a workout class. That being said, I mentioned earlier that we are trying to implement things that we learned from the 5 a.m. club book, and um, Josh and me, we're doing it together, and if you've read the book or familiar with it, basically the idea is you have an extra hour in your day and you break up that extra hour 20, 20, 20. So the first 20 minutes of your day is supposed to be some form of exercise to get your heart rate up and to make you sweat. So I've been trying to implement that this week. Granted, I'm still, my goodness, I'm so sorry. I am still getting back into working out after having taken time off because I was sick. So um, I haven't, basically I haven't done it every single day, but I have done some sort of movement every day for the past week and a half. So I'm pretty sore right now. Um, and it's been kind of a lot. This camera just keeps moving. I'm sorry, I'm trying to hold it in place so you don't go flying. Anyway, I'm pretty sore, and today's gonna be kind of a brutal CrossFit workout. We're doing back squat, we're doing um, front squat, deadlifts, and over uh, shoulder, basically overhead press. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be tough today. I wanted to take an Epsom salt bath last night, but it got late. Also, I started watching The Gilded Age on HBO Max, which is all about New York in the 1880s and like new money versus old money. And I was an English major in college and I read a lot of books about that time period. Edith Wharton is one of my favorite authors, like 
who wrote about that time period. So anyway, I love that type of stuff and we were watching. The first episode's like an hour and a half so we started watching it and anyway, needless to say, I didn't take my bath. So we're here across it now. Let's go get this workout in. I'm sure I'm gonna be really sore after. Probably won't feel it till like tomorrow, honestly, but let's do it. Okay, workout is done and honestly, <laughs> it was a little rough. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be, to be honest, but it was tough. So I'm just really, really sore. We were doing back squats and I did, well, we did something at, was it yesterday at F45? We did a lot of like glute work. Yeah, it was yesterday. And I'm feeling really sore from that. So um, it was just hard for me to like get like parallel and below parallel in my back squat because I was so, um, I'm so sore. So I might try like at lunch. Oops, I just like hit my phone. I might try at lunch to do a 20 minute Epsom salt bath because I'm coaching at F45 tonight. I switched to tonight instead of this morning. Again, because, well partially, for a few reasons, partially because we're trying to do our 5 a.m. routine and stick to it and I'll still coach um, Friday mornings at F45 and then get up at 4 a.m. But I'd rather just get up every day at 5 a.m. and then just have one day a week where I get up at 4. Because two days a week at 4 is kind of tough. So, um, I'm gonna try and switch to Wednesday nights. We'll see, afternoon slash evening. So we'll see how that works. So I have to coach um, tonight. So I might try and do a, a quick bath on my lunch break because I won't be able to do it tonight. So I have to quickly stop at the post office and drop off a skims return. I ordered like the boyfriend loose pants, but I ordered a size large because in like the boxers and stuff like that, I just prefer a size large. Like I prefer them a little bit bigger, but those were just too big. I definitely need a medium. So I'm gonna return those and I didn't purchase the medium yet. I'm gonna hold off. I'm having this um, 26 gram protein uh, shake. So, get gas, go to the post office, and then go home, get some work done, and uh, hopefully take a bath on my lunch break. The good thing is we have leftovers from that crock pot. I forget, was that in this video? I think it was in the last, was it in this video? Yeah, because we did it Monday. My days are so off during the holiday week. So yeah, so I have that chicken for lunch. Yesterday we had it with like in a burrito, which was really good, but we still have leftover rice and beans, so I might just do like chicken and rice and beans for lunch, which will be great, because I can eat that, like heat it up and eat it while I'm working, and then take my bath. So, I just feel like I need some extra TLC for recovery, because I'm still getting back into the gym, I'm still getting back into my workout routine, and I've been kind of hitting it hard. Like today I did RX at um, CrossFit and if you're unfamiliar there's generally well at least for our program they're all a little different but for our program there's three levels there's um, level one which is like more beginner RX which is more intermediate and then RX plus which is more advanced and then we also have a competition level so I guess we have four if you're training for like competitions but like nobody at our gym is really doing that so we don't even I don't even look at that one anyway I, I've been doing RX, which is kind of what I usually do, like the intermediate level. So that's been kind of tough, like it's challenging. So anyway, let's go run these errands, get home, and then hopefully in a little bit I can take a bath and read a little bit of my book while I do that. much later the sun is about to set and I'm just getting to f45 to coach some evening classes I haven't I've only coached evenings once so this will be fun and it was kind of nice like I said before to not have to get up so early so I think I'm the first one here so I'm gonna open up the gym 
and my sister is coming to the last class of the day so that will be fun I'm excited to see her and let's go coach all right so I am now back home from coaching I am so tired it is past my bedtime um, we've just been going to bed so early and obviously getting up at 5 a.m. every day so I am going to go eat. I had picked up some soup earlier, so Josh is just heating that up for me. I'm going to have some soup, shower. I have a couple things to do to just get ready for tomorrow. I'm actually planning to go to the gym at 6 a.m. tomorrow, hopefully, if all works out. Um, so I got to get like all my clothes laid out and everything like that. But I'm going to wrap up this vlog here. I hope you enjoyed these last few days. I am planning on filming this weekend because... I'm a member of Lululemon Sweat Collective and they invited us to their local store for a yoga class. So I'm planning to film. Hopefully they let me film. But anyway, that will be in my next vlog. So make sure you're subscribed. Stay tuned and I will see you in the next one.